There's a city that looks or a full grown son because if he'd have been underage, if he'd have been a kid, I don't think the father would say, well, you're just going to get out. I said, he'd have laid down the law and said, you ain't going nowhere. Right. So he must have been of age. But yet he was a very selfish, self-willed person. And he said, Father, give me the portion. Give it to me. Uh, give me that that uh, belongs to me. Amen. Praise God. And the Bible says that the father divided that portion with him. Now, I want to see something, the helplessness of the father. Now, don't you know, praise God, uh, he wanted to keep that boy right there with him, with his other son, with the servants, and keep the family unit there. But he knew good and well that he'd have to lower his standards in order to keep that boy there. It took a lot of grit. It took a lot of guts for that father to watch that boy as he packed his stuff up, as he took, took his inheritance and his portion and started off down that road. Don't you know as that father watched as that son leaves, don't you know there was a tear in his eye? Don't you know there was a brokenness in his heart? Don't you know there was a hurt? There was a pain that he felt there? Don't you know the devil whispered in his ear and said, hey, if you just let up a little bit, this wouldn't have to be. If you just give in a little bit, this wouldn't have to happen. The only problem there was he would still have a prodigal son, but he'd have the prodigal at home, and he'd turn the palace into a pig pen. Amen? But here the Bible says that that this prodigal, this, he went into a, a far country. Now, uh, I, I can't help but think about this. I, I think that there's a lot of churches today that are filled up with prodigals. They filled up. You just look at some of the church buses heading out to the beach full of the young people. Man, they got nose piercings, ear piercings, tattoos all over their body. And a lot of times they're stinking low down dirty youth director or take them down to get a tattoo on their body. Well, I'd take that sucker out and beat him with a two by four behind the church. Amen. I tell you what, that's, that's right out of the pits of hell. Amen. Praise God, I tell you what, folks. Praise God, I've never seen churches in such a mess. Praise God, we don't only have prodigal children, we got prodigal mom and dads, praise God, that are running churches today. It is filled up with all the hell and all the world and all the world's music and all the garbage that the world pipes in. Someone said, I looked for the world and I found it in the church. And I looked for the church and I found it in the world. Amen. Amen. Praise God, we need some moms and dads. We need some preachers. We need some church leaders that'll say, hey, let's take a stand. Let's raise the banner, praise God, and let's dare to be different, praise God, Amen. in this, this ungodly age that we live. Hallelujah. We see the rebel. Praise God. Look at the route that he took. Verse number 13. It says, and not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Praise God. He took a route down to the, the, the wilder side of life. Uh, he got hooked up with, with the good old boys of the day. Praise God. They introduced him the uh, old sweet thing out there. There she was, praise God, with a big old smile on her, on her face. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, she knew his, his pockets were bulging with money. Praise God, he just, just left the father's house, had his inheritance. And let me tell you something, honey. When you got a lot of money, you got a lot of friends. More money you got, more friends you got. I promise you that. If you got a lot of money, you'll have a lot of friends. That's the way it was. You got a car and you got gas in the tank, you'll have a lot of riders. You remember how it was when you was a teenager? Man, you got a lot of money. Praise God, always somebody wanting to ride, but a lot of times they don't want to pay. Hey, if we pull up at the gas tank, praise God, you say, how many want to chip in? Well, how you got me? Blah, 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 blah. You know, you know how it was. Praise God. But this old boy, he found out when his money was gone, his fair weather friends were gone too. Praise God, you young people want to make friends out of the people of God, those who love Jesus, those, those who are, care about spiritual things, those that really care about you rather than what they can get out of you. Amen. Praise God. Whether it be sex, drugs, a good time, whatever it is, they just want to use you and, and drain you and give what they can get out of you. And then when they throw with you, they throw you aside. That's the way that the devil does. Amen. Oh, he doesn't say that up front. 
uh, these guys, these girls, these, these, these fire weather friends that this boy had, uh, oh, they, they thought, oh, man, they probably buttered him up, flattered him, made him think that he was the best thing ever come their way. Boy, oh, boy, they thought he was the greatest. Boy, they probably spoke swelling words, man, made his head swell up, made him feel good. But when his money was gone, so were they. He's on the street. He's about to starve to death. And the next thing we know, we see the result. You know what I think about that. He went, he left out when he left his father's house. Praise God. He got his inheritance. He took it all, the Bible says. He took all of his inheritance. Praise God. The whole amount. Yeah, you know, it's amazing what he said to his father. He must have been watching that commercial. J.G. Wentworth. And he, he came in there and he said, it's my money and I want it now. See, that's the philosophy of the world. That's, that's the way the world is. What JG don't tell you, it's your money, but let me get a little bit of it too before you get it. Amen? That's the whole philosophy of that. Praise God. The world doesn't care what you get as long as they get part of it. As long as they can get have their hand out. Amen. Praise God. But look at the route that he took. Praise God. Uh, he took it all. He, he had intentions. Man, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to party down. Man, I'm going to live it up. I'm sick and tired of all that authority back at the Father's house. I'm sick and tired of all them regulations. I want to come when I come. I want to go when I go. I want to do what I want to do. And I'm tired of the old man breathing down my neck and telling me what, what it's going to be. Amen. How about it, kids? We got, I'm sure we don't have any feel that way. See, that's the way my brother was. That's the way my brother was. He is sick and tired of the old man telling him how it's going to be. He didn't want any rules. He didn't want any regulations. So he said, I'm going to join an army. <laughs> Boy, did he learn a lesson in a hurry. Praise God. He got cussed out on a daily basis. He had somebody up in his